Now we've got a very, very simple landscape in Kodu with hills and a lake, but we, we really need to start adding some features to it now. So what I'd really like to do is over on the far side here is actually draw myself, as so I start creating, a dark gloomy wood. And for this I'm actually going to click on the, the Kodu icon here, which is what we use for adding objects, not just Kodus, but any object. And if I click over on my landscape, a menu pops up where I can choose a whole range of things to add, including things like submarine saucers, octopus, blimp. If you press the escape key at any point, it'll take you back to the previous menu. We can also put on things like clouds, which would be quite good fun. I think I've got a cloud just over here. You can drag it around once you put it in. Once you put something in, you can right mouse click and you can change the size. So I can make this a little bit bigger. And I can also right mouse click and change the height. So make it a little bit higher up in the sky. So I'm going to have, hopefully have some woods with a few clouds around. Let's add another object. This time let's put in a tree. Four different types of trees that we can put in. You can see by default that's rather large already. Let's press the space bar so I can zoom around and have a look. Okay, quite happy with that so far. Maybe it's a little bit big, but it'll be okay for now. And let's just carry on adding some trees. It's if you're going if you my trees aren't really going to do much. I might have a tree saying hello or something similar. Um, but it is a good idea if you are actually intending to put a lot of code on something to put the code on one and then clone it, copy and paste, so that you can. Um, I'm just going to show you the copy and paste in there. Copy, and I can right mouse click and just paste tree, and it will paste some trees in for me. What I should really do is change the size a little bit so it looks a little bit more random. And then my process will be to simply add enough trees to make it look like a convincing forest, but also making it so that it's big enough for Kodu to wander around when we get the game going in a, in a short while.